guys what's going on it's your girl godly i have been super duper busy so i just kind of wanted to put out a little bit of a casual commentary for you guys and let you know what's been going on i'm in the middle of helping my mother move which is horrific my mother is a hoarder <laughs> i mean she's not like the people that you see on tv but she's just yeah she's got a lot of shit like to be honest so but you know how you see certain hoarders they have like certain things like certain things you know that they collect or that they hoard and that would be my mom my mom hoards clothes like i don't know why i mean she doesn't like you know purposely go to garage sales and just pick out shit but you know she hoards clothing and i don't know why like she just cannot pass up a sale or any opportunity that she gets you know and she'll call me and she's like oh well i look look what i got look what i got at macy's today or dillard's had their you know their sale or macy's had their saturday sale. and i'm like what like okay mom yeah because i know in two years that shit's gonna be still there with the tags on it but okay mom i'm so excited for you you know so anyway so i've been helping her move and i took today like literally i took three loads of clothes over there um yeah and we're not even talking about the clothes these were just folded clothes that she had had like in her dresser and you know stuff like that but we're not even talking about the clothes that she has hung up in her three closets and it's just like mom really you know i don't know it just it's horrific so anyways like i said she didn't like those people on tv but damn like i don't know i don't know maybe because i i'm used to her so anytime i have something that i don't wear or that i don't even use even if it's clothes or not like if i don't use it fuck it it's got to go you know what i'm saying like i don't know I, maybe i'm ocd about it or whatever but i just cannot stand the fact that i may you know possibly turn into that so anyways guys a little bit of gameplay info i am on slums and i drop a double swarm double dogs because i'm a bad bitch now i'm just kidding but i'm really excited you know because i feel like i told y'all i really feel like you know i've stepped up my game so i'm hoping you know like i don't know i don't know i'm pretty excited so anyways um but yeah i drop a um double v set double dog and double swarm so um i kind of looked at the gameplay and i feel like i don't know like i really need to play in a different style um i kind of really play cautious and i either play really 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 cautious or like fuck it balls to the wall you know i'm darting down the middle line of sight <laughs> so i really need to figure out like a happy medium so um especially when i get close to my kill streaks like i start panicking and i don't know what to do so i run the opposite direction so <laughs> if you'll see in my videos it's funny because somebody actually commented on it you know but i run the opposite direction because i'm like freaking out and i'm panicking and i just don't know what to do so anyways but um like i said i just wanted to kind of do a little casual commentary for you guys and um also the point of this is you know like i said i've been helping my mom move but apparently in the city i live in yeah check this out apparently in the city i live in it is against the law to be courteous now i've always thought you know what i mean like i'm mean sometimes but i'm courteous you know i'm really courteous when i drive I'll, I'll purposely, you know, stop last at a four-way stop sign just so the other person can go or I'll motion for them to go, you know, because it's not that big of a deal to me. I've always lived by the rule that, you know, if you're in that big of a hurry, like you should have left 10 minutes earlier. I'm never in a hurry. Um, you know, it's not to say I'm never late for anything, but I just, you know, some shit is just not even that important to me. You know, um, it's not important to stress out over stupid shit. And yeah, I have a tendency to just stress and freak out over random shit. So anyways, but I've always tried to be, you know, courteous, especially when I'm driving and just in general. And I think that Southern people really in general, are, we're just courteous. So um, the other day I get pulled over though, because I was courteous. Like, are you kidding me? I impeded traffic. That's what the, that's what the ticket said now. But basically I let somebody go ahead of me and I could have caused a wreck. I could have caused a traffic jam. Are you kidding me? I live in a city of about, I don't know, 12, 13,000 people. Like, literally, I could have caused a wreck. I could have caused a traffic jam. So, 
I've gotten all into this stuff where, you know how you see those videos on YouTube and you hear stories where, where people are pulled over or they go through checkpoints and they're, and they're like, you know what, fuck you. If you do not have the right to detain me or you don't have probable cause, like get the fuck off me. So I've all kind of got into that, which I know at this point, like to me, really that wasn't probable cause, but I'm like, okay. So I got my mama in the car with me and my mom's like, just shut up, just shut up. Like we're going to go to jail. Oh my God, we're going to go to jail. And then my mom like tries to, you know, detour the situation and talk about a school bus and are you supposed to stop and this, that, and the other. But my mom literally is like, oh my God, we're going to jail. And so it finally just got to the point where, you know what I mean? I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. You're right. I'm wrong. I apologize. And I said, but I don't understand because once I let the car go, the car just sat there. And so at that point, after I let them go, it's like, I'm fucking committed. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you want me to do? And that's what I kept asking him. Like at that point, I'm committed. What do you want me to do? And he just kept telling me, you need to hit him. You need to hit him. And I'm like, really, dude, really? Cause I have a fucking huge dent the size of Texas on my fucking truck because of some random ass person. And you just, just hit him, just hit him. That's what he kept saying to me. Just run over him. You've got the right of way. And I'm like, really, dude? really and so I sat in there telling my mom because this kid was just fucking ugly he was younger than me he had like four rows of fucking teeth they were just jumbled all in his fucking mouth and my mother is just like freaking out thinking that we're going to jail and it's just like I don't know like I've been pulled over for stupid shit I mean stupid shit like following too close I've got pulled over for honking um, and now being too courteous, like I always get pulled over for the most randomest shit. So anyways, apparently though, in the state of Texas, or maybe it's just the city I live in, but it is against the law to be courteous. So it's funny now, cause every time I come to a stop sign or anytime I come to, you know, anything that we have to take our turns, I don't give a fuck. Even if we're at the drive through at McDonald's, fuck you, get out the way. You know, like I am no longer being courteous. I just could not believe that that I got pulled over for that like really and for him just to sit there and say go on go on just hit him okay yeah really because that's fucking that's logical dumbass but anyways guys I just kind of wanted to bring y'all a little bit of a casual commentary and let you know what's been going on and you know just I have had my hands full with my mom and just you know still other drama and bullshit but I just wanted to keep you guys up to date that's what I got for you guys till next time peace out Never a doubt. Good job.